I'm into a lot of weird stuff, y'all, so be surprised. But without further ado, so the company is called Analog, and this is a Super NT. And as y'all know, I love playing retro games, and so these are very hard to come by for short y'all know most people like playing retro games we love to kind of really reminisce and go in the back and i have my i have a version a different type but a modded super nintendo you can play with the old school consoles which are great but if you're streaming or you want to play on today's monitor or tv it's a lot harder because they have the composite cables the traditional yellow white and red cables now there's devices like these that make that experience a lot better because before you needed to buy an adapter, you had to get a cable, you know, those converters to go from composite to HDMI, which is an analog signal, and HDMI is a full digital signal. So you need a converter box to convert that signal over, which didn't really give a good experience. And then obviously if you got the real cheap ones off Amazon, sometimes they didn't work, sometimes they did work. One of the things that makes these great versus other ones is design. Analog took a lot of that into consideration to not just make it about playing games but to give you that same feel and that same design that you know i'll be honest with you i love how the super nintendo looks and they they, they deviate it without going away too far right because they can't make the same thing so they made their own unique one so we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna open this up and it even starts with the packaging so they come out with three colors and i'll spoil the secret you still probably unless you know you probably won't know so the colors on the side let's see if the light can focus Let's see if we can focus that. You can kind of see it focus just a little bit. Boop, 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 boop. It says FS, which is for the Super Famicom. They came in three colors. They had the traditional, which was like kind of that, they're off gray with the purple buttons. They had the Super Famicom, which is, you know, modeled after that. And it had all black one. It was very gorgeous. I wanted, if I could, I would like one in all each color, but I don't. So let's go ahead and let's remove the lid so they do a lot of things great about the super nt one is the size and the form factor as you can see it's actually technically a little bit smaller and and, and this is very lovely it you can't see it here but embossed or impressed into the boxes their analog logo so you know very simple very easy and as y'all can see here yeah y'all can see that we'll just kind of hold that that is the super famicom super nt so what's great about this is a few things you can actually put in the actual cartridge so i know a lot of people are into emulation and things like that which is cool but you have your input delays and things like that here we can run the actual cartridge from super nintendo and these are not region locked so you can actually play pal or you can play north american versions which is great you can play all the versions of the consoles that go in there again if you you know you got the old school cartridge and it might not play you might have to do the or take alcohol and, and put it in there but you have the ability to do that um let's see if we can open that up so y'all can see that inside so their pins are reinforced there we go there's a good lighting on that so they're, they're made to last very good quality there and then you have your simple power and reset which have good reinforce it, it, it feels like quality that's what i love about this the most it feels like quality so let's go ahead and let's take this bad thing out let's take this again the size is gorgeous. I love the size. I love the form factor they give you. Again, kind of that analog. Y'all can kind of see the logo here right in the middle. And then they have this pad so it prevents it from sliding. Again, I love the size and the form factor. And then, boop, boop, boop. You can use original controllers, right? So obviously, being that I had the Super Famicom and I like the button of the Super Famicom, we had to get the matching. Now, this does not come with a controller. Traditionally, it used to come with 8 bit do controllers, but I guess due to productions and 8 bit do not having as much of the wire wireless versions, they just sold it the system itself. But you can use any. If you have your existing Super Nintendo controllers, what is great is they easily plug right into the system to make that painless. Make it painless, which is dope. So. You don't you get the same if you're worried about input lag and things like that. You don't have to worry about that anymore. And it has a good weight to it. It's not, you know, it, it's very light, but it has a nice weight, so you know there's in there. So more importantly, the back. So you have your HDMI and then you have your power here. So this is what makes this unique. We just talked about having to do converters and we talked about have to 
you know, have cables and things. What makes the Super NT great, and there's, there's more, there's more, but we're going to start with this, is the fact that it has HDMI built onto it. And typically, yes, there are converters. What's great about the analog, though, is not only does it have an HDMI output to make it easier to stream, video capture, blah, 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 blah. But it can also up convert the quality a little bit. It's not going to change. It's not going to be 8K OLED HDR quality. So chill out. Y'all chill out, right? It's, but it's going to help give you a little bit better in terms of color balance, a little bit of sharpness and detail in the games, which is always good. Why no? Why no to that? Like, because it is built onto the motherboard, which is great. It's not an adapter. It's not the kind of quick route it's built into the board to do that so you get it kind of you get the signal before it's converted into analog it can kind of catch it there while it's still on the board and you kind of can help push that out if you like me and again you really want to play a lot of retro games it's a great investment great investment i love it again it comes in black and all black well just think about that all in black Ooh. ah right let's play a little bit of little right but the they had they did like a, a a limited edition run of one that was like all white which was really good looking and then they have the traditional which would be pretty much the, the gray with the purple buttons now i'm gonna show you all the the other reason why these are so valuable and very important that right there that is an sd slot so what makes this great is with a lot of consoles or a lot of retro ones, a lot of people, obviously, you know, I own my games and I like to burn them and put them on an SD card because it makes it easier to file through. Y'all see me do that with the ROM hacks. I own Super Mario World, the cartridge, and I burn that into a file and then I turn and that's how I play my ROM hacks. So previously you and I'm not going to show mine, but you can have an FX pack pro. Um, you know, like it used to be called an SD to NES, but they had to change the name. You had to, you know, if you wanted to play via SD card, you had to do some things like that. You can actually jailbreak the analog so you don't need to buy because the FX Pack Pro, it's a really good device. It's amazing if you have a retro Super Nintendo and you don't care about the modding, you don't care about the HDMI, but you want to play a lot more games, you can easily purchase one of those devices, which are amazing, and then plug those in to your console and put it put whatever you want on an sd card and play it but the benefit of owning a super nt is you can jailbreak this device and plug in through the sd slot you, you know where i'm going i'm not i'm gonna let y'all draw the conclusion there i'm not gonna really say it word for word of what you can do because i ain't you know, we ain't working for police. But that's one of the huge benefits of the Super NT is the fact that you can jailbreak it and use the SD slot to put it, you know, put SD card in it and, again, virtually play any game you would like that you own. You own, you can virtually play any game with the Super NT. Uh, you know, what, what else is in the box? So one of the things they have... Uh, I don't. I can't reach it. They they. It comes included with Super Turrican on there, so you can play that by default. It's built into the motherboard, and they give you a cool little box art for it. You know, they come with the little manual, the little inlets, and all that. If you're into that stuff, and then at the bottom of the box will be your power cable. They also give you an HDMI cable, which is great, so you don't need to run out and buy another one. That is also included. Uh, with the super nt so we'll just they have a really unique operating system that's pretty advanced that lets you really customize and choose a lot of control first time i opened one i wanted to be on stream so y'all can see it and experience it with me but again really great device i am excited to set mine up and we'll be using that next time all right well like we said that's analog the super nt i love it 